Uh, is there a center point? In this circle, we don't see any center point, even though this looks like in the center, do not consider that to be the diameter unless you have got some proof. Now, there is a O here, I can see O, well that's the center of the smaller circle. So, X O Z should be the diameter. Immediately, diameter makes an angle 90 on the uh, semi -circ circle there, right? So, we got 70 here, this angle there. So, this particular green line is making a 90 degrees. Where does it make 90 means? It makes the angle at M, that point there. Watch the screen very carefully. I'll just go a bit close to see, right? That's where it's making 90. Right, that whole thing is 90, right? Now, they asked us to find all the angles that we can. All right, we will. In the big triangle XZM, you know one angle as 90, another angle is 70. What do you think of this angle here, that the tiny small angle there? Watch this screen, please, right? That should be, come on, you, you know, right, some of the three angles add up to uh, or say that should, should be 180, so that should be a 20. 70 at 20, 90, at the 90, 180. Happy? So, in this triangle, we know all three. Now let's, let's look at the isosceles triangle. Do we have any isosceles triangle in this case? Uh, I think so. Just look for two radii. Look for two radii, please. Two, two of them, okay. Uh, two radii, OM is the radius, right. OM is a radius, ON also is a radius. Do you agree? That is an isosceles triangle. So, if this is a 70, what do you reckon that angle is? Watch the screen care carefully. I, I, I chose a very fine pen here. That should be again 70, right? That should be 70, 70. The full angle is 90, so the outside angle should be 20 there. Am I correct? That's a 70, 20, 90. If not, look at the isosceles triangle like this. That's the center because they told us, right? O is always the center in this case. That's a radius that's also radius, this is a chord and therefore base angles are equal. It's a 20, it's a 20. It makes sense, right? Okay, so in this case we, we found all, we can also find this angle, come on, come on, think. That's a 20, 20, 40. We take away from 180, so that should be 140. Am I correct, sir? Come on, think, that's a 140 there. What do you think of the that remaining angle there? If this is a one, 140, that also should be a 40 in this case, right? 40 and one, 140, 180. Now, let's go to the larger circle. Is there anything that we, we can do in this case? Well, let's go back to the previous one. That angle was 90. What do you think of this side angle here? It's a straight line, please. It's a straight line. So, if that much is a 90, this angle there also must be 90 because they add up to 180 again. Straight angle concept, right? When do you think? Now, this is where you should be very careful. You forget about that pink part there, right? Concentrate on blue circle only. Tell me about when do you get the angle 90? This is a chord. X, Y is a, is, a, is a chord. It's making an angle 90 on the circle. 
what kind of a chord can make a right angle in a circle, let's say on, right? It should be the biggest chord. Now, biggest chord means it's nothing but diameter, right? Unless x, y is the biggest chord, it cannot make 90 de degrees angle, right? So, you need to know that x, y is nothing but the diameter. We do not know the uh, center point, right? But based on the concept that the angle here is 90, you are allowed to say x, y is nothing but diameter, all right? That's how one can do lots and lots and lots of sums, all right? Uh, is there a way that we can find y and this angle here? Come on. Uh, according to me, let's turn it like that and then see. Uh, angles in the same segment concept, we can't use, okay. I don't think there is any other way to find. That's a 90 we know, that we do not know, right? This we do not know. We don't have a cyclic quadrilateral, I think we do. I think we do, right? Look at the cyclic quadrilateral. O, M, Y, X. That's a cyclic quadrilateral, please. For the blue circle, that's a cyclic quadrilateral, right? How much is that angle there? Exterior angle, please. Cyclic quadrilateral exterior angle. That blue line, outside angle there is 70. So, exterior angle equals to interior and then opposite. This is going to be the op opposite angle for that, please. All right. So, that's a 70. So, you jump inside, look at the opposite that whole angle should have been 70. Because it's a 20, do you agree that should have been a 50? Right, 50 at 20, 70. That 70 is nothing but outside exterior angle. Sorry uh, about the big mess here, which is a tiny 70, you will, you will see, right? That's the exterior angle, please. That's the exterior angle, because cyclic quadrilateral starts here, right? Okay, now, what about this angle? Well, it's a 90, it's a 50, that's definitely 40, right? Let, let's not waste much time. If you want, you look at the exterior angle concept. Look at that line there. That's a 40 exterior. Exterior e equals to interior opposite. It makes sense. It definitely makes sense, people, right? So, that's how you can actually solve uh, many sums based on geometry of circles and especially cyclic quadrilaterals, okay? Uh, let's look back at the objectives or aims of the, of the day. If not, you can even go for the keywords there. Uh, you need to know the spellings very well because uh, it's all literacy skills there, right? Uh, the, the, the objectives and aims of the lesson was to be able to study cyclic quadrilaterals. We studied, we measured some ang angles and we found some rules there. Uh, opposite angles add up to 180. Then also we said exterior angle equals to interior opposite. So those are the two basic important rules that we learned today in this uh, lesson, right? Your keywords are cyclic, quadrilateral, come on, tell me without looking at the book or your, your work worksheet, write down 10 keywords with proper spellings, right? So this is your part two. In part three video, it will be based on uh, geometry again, uh, you may have to apply all these rules from part one and part two in part three. So, do not forget those rules, right? Supplementary, 180. Uh, Complementary, 90, right? 
and 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 what else we we learned uh, those are the two very impo important ones okay uh, good luck all right uh, try and solve as many sums as you can from the textbook also all right people